Hey everyone, welcome back, my name is Krebs and today we are playing Hand of Fate. We're going for the story mode. We've covered the Jack of Dust. We are now off, off to get the Jack of Skulls. Three times two of skulls and three times supplies. I would say that is perfect. Serving as captain to squads of lesser skeletons. These unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legions are effectively endless. Time for you to face my undead army. Meet the Jack of Skulls. Let's go into the deck builder. Would you like to use a recommended equipment and encounter deck? No. I'll start here. What equipment do we want? We have desperate measures. Can I... This card is new and thus its contents are unknown. Find this card during playing that its secrets will be revealed. I gotcha. Let's add the new cards then. 16 out of 12 is a bit much. We can remove the healing cap. We can remove two of the shields. One of the swords and one of the axes. Actually, I want to remove both of the axes, but mm, let's leave it on for now. Two medium armor may be a bit much as well. No duplicates, after all. Let's increase the chance of getting an axe. And increase the chance of getting a shield. That seems perfect. Okay, um... Certainly. What about this? Welcome to the wild card update for Fate of ha for Hand of Fate. This update adds different fates that you can select in order to change the way the game plays. Each fate provides different modifiers to play. Default mode. Hard mode. Player moves and attacks faster in combat. Enemies move and attack faster will also inflict more damage. Your encounters your counter attacks do more damage. Bandits now have throwing weapons. Deck changes. Warlord 1. Rumors of a temple to a long forgotten god lure you to a desolate wasteland. Supplies, one foods, good fortune, free food, gold. Poor tidings lose 30% gold. Oh my. <laughs> That's pretty bad, isn't it? And there's a whole range of different things. But you guys know me by now, don't you? Of course, we're going for hard mode. The adventurer has no specific upgrades or rule changes. Stronger enemies are weaker, some achievements cannot be unlocked. Apprentice 1, Two of Dust, Supplies, Great Fortune. Here, this is essentially what we had before. But I feel like this will be good. Play on hard mode. Of course I want to play on hard mode. Let's leave the ambush out and take a look at these new things. The bandit attack. That, or, that king's all. Devil's choice. Deck of skills. Captain of the Ghast River. A winding trail. That man's gorge. Mr. And Lionel. And the maiden in the twisted canyon. That seems perfect. Okay. I would say that's a good one. Let's start the game. New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. I will add my own... How interesting. How boring life would be without a little spice. I do agree to that. He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay. We play for life and death. Prepare yourself. We have less health, probably because of the hard mode. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps Hater, we are Hater. merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. We might be doing that, Jess. 
One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maid and she stops to greet you. I would ask for supplies in this case. This bread will sustain you for many days. Thanks. It seems we are somewhat fortunate. It is said that sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of Lady Luck's contrary nature. Farewell, mortal. Choose your next card. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Warlord 1. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Rumors of a temple tool, a long forgotten god lure you to a desolate wasteland. You complete the necessary blood ritual in order to gain the attention of the deity. Its presence fills your, fills your mind, bringing you to your knees. What do you seek, mortal? A thunderous voice in your mind demands. Power. You respond with what determination you can muster in the face of such a being. Power to crush my enemies. Many a mortal has begged for my favor, the entity responds. I will tell you where power may be found, but you must recover it yourself. Hidden in the valley of the hill giants, there is a cave. Inside that cave lies what you seek. Suddenly it withdraws to its own realm, leaving you breathless and alone. This card's token is now yours. The token is yours. Well done. I just read through it, that's all. But thanks. Review this card. Captain of the Guards. I always thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I see you have no such concerns. You hear a shout from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forward, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. A two of skulls. Broken more bones litter the area around the man. But there are still more closing in on him, and he appears badly injured. Stranger, he calls out as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. We'll take it's the mace. It's a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. Equipment with his, this trait strikes fear into the cold hearts of the undead. They will sustain more damage and may not be resurrected around such holy relics. Lovely. Would you like to equip it? Yes. Let's get into combat then. Okay, let's get on with this. It's just two skeletons this time, but... Okay, let's not take damage. And that's perfect. Everyone's dead now. And I will not revive. For I have a holy relic. <laughs> Good work putting them to rest. Keep the maze. We have bit enough back at Kadare. Uh, at Kadare. He says, slowly standing. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently and I came to investigate. He starts to look around at all the bone fragments. More of them here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to settle in these parts and brought its minions. I must head back to the capital and report this with to the Duke. Watch your step, friend. There is something more powerful at work than just these skeletons. This god's token is now yours. We gain a lot of tokens. We find the stars. Head downwards, if you dare. I will. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Many have reached this far. Further, in fact. I do not know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. Let's find out. We encounter Mr. Lionel again. And he does the same thing. Let's give him some gold. Occasionally losing his place and moving different coins around randomly, he attempts to count the gold to place in front of him. This carries on for a while before he, quite calmly and deliberately, swallows each of the coins one by one. Now, let's see what I have for you. He then sits Every considering you, you for a while, food, 
before slapping the table of his hand. Aha! I know what you need. Mr. Lionel reads his bandurier and pulls out a money bag, heavy with coins. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. The dealer throws you four gold game cards. Oh man, we are gaining I'm all sure the gold. That. Oh wow, we got a lot of gold for giving him gold once. We shall meet again, the goblin suddenly declares. He then strides confidently out of the back of the tavern. I don't know how to move by keyboard. Oh, we encounter a shop. Excellent. In a shady grove of the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. General shops offer a range of items and healing, but the price is a little higher than usual. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. What have you got, sir? It's a nice little shop here. I would imagine we want to buy items and food. Oh, this is a decent discount. We'll definitely buy this. Would I need to buy another one? I don't think so. Damocles. Fortitude's breath. Every third encounter does not consume food. Press right mouse button to shoot, bash a target, stunning it. And a medium armor. Provides good protection against physical harm with minimal restriction on movement. I would imagine this being a useful one. The Fortitude's breath. Or the Damocles. Can only afford one of the two, none others then. But our shield will be nice. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Exactly. Would you like to equip it? For sure. Interesting choice. And that's all. We shall leave now. I suppose I don't have much to sell just yet. Let's review what this card has. It's the river. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. Your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear but fast flowing. Attempt to cross. Huge success. Let's keep an eye on that. I would imagine it's this one. Oh no, a failure. The water carries away a few of your provisions. One pain card. Oh dear. I suppose we've not managed to do this one yet. The Twisted Canyon once again. It lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days. And the canyon has been there from the outset. I see. Let's climb down and retrieve a weapon. Anything will do. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You draw an equipment card. It's the axe. We do not wish to equip the axe. But it's nice to have. More stuff to sell, Deeper after all. Towards our foe. Let's take the stars again. Embark on the next Good. leg of our adventure. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls and we can progress. Let's move along then. A bandit attack. Oh no. Our bandits are displeased with your challenges. Two monster cards. The King of Dust is no more and they are taking vengeance. Should I be scared? I don't think so. Let's take the axe or mace and start killing them all. Okay, I will definitely need to stop taking damage. Oh, 
Okay. Stop shooting me, dude. Stop. Okay, that seems to be going well. Okay, what about you, dude? Okay, um, yeah, we are nearly dead. Do I have any specials? I don't suppose I do. Oh, uh -huh. look at that attack. It almost killed us, this one encounter, but I'm certain we will be fine. After all, it's just me gaining experience. Among the bodies, you'll find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you, plus an offer of a reward from the King of Dust. I thought I killed the King of Dust. The Devil's Choice. I like this demon. He lies as often as he tells the truth. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. I don't think I have much to choose from, do I? The two of dust, then. Hmm, since that is whom you wish to fight, I think today I shall make you fight the others instead. Just for fun. Well, not a problem. <laughs> For my weapon is holy. And my reactions are fast. Bring it on. Bring it on, you all. Haha. <laughs> That's one of them down already. Okay. Two down, one left to go. Just destroying the shields is an interesting one. And there we go. I did take another hit. Well, we are still alive. And they will pay. Excellent, the devil cried. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time I pass cross, I will kill you myself. The deal draws free game cards. This card's token is now yours. Oh, lovely, some food. Oh, stuff to have. The change of rage. I can't ki uh, look at them, can I? During combat, strikes sustained from bows and wires have a chance to restore asset. your cooldowns. I see. Ah, oh, that's not the right button. Or oh, the medium armor. Provides good protection against physical harm with minimal restriction on Congratulations. movement. Let's not take this one. Can I look at what I'm equipped with right now? Middle I cannot. Of the road in every way. I'll take these. Defense, medium. Yes. Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. We've got a shield. Do we want this? I don't think so. Are you sure that's the right approach? I'm positive. We will not be running out of supplies. A winding trail. An How interesting. Hardly fair, is it? Suddenly, a tree, of, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. A, a tree of dust. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielders face is obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you or give them all your gold. We haven't much to lose, do we? We have a lot of HP to lose, but not much gold. I don't suppose we'll need the gold anymore anyway. You open your money bag and present it to the thieves. That's not enough. He's holding out on us. One of them yells right before they rush to you. Well, that's hardly, hardly nice, is it? That's all I've got. If you're dissatisfied, that's not my fault. Well, it's only the three of you, so... This should be an easier battle. Bring 
it on. I've learned to master this already. You guys do not stand a chance. At all. I can assure you. <laughs> Stop getting up, dude. You're supposed to be dead by now. <laughs> and I thought they could handle me. I'm king of dodge rolling here. Throw one equipment card. It's an axe. Are you a woodsman turned warrior now? No, I will not take it. More food, though. I wish to gain health. Perfect. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. I suppose it is. That king's hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? You see an ancient, honored coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will, sh will surely be guarded. Draw two monster cards. The two of dust and the two of skulls. Attempt to take them by surprise. Huge success. The rest is failure. I think it's this one. It's a huge failure. Oh no, is this going to kill me? It was potted as you approach and the creatures ready themselves for combat. I lose 10 health. Ouch. A huge success versus a huge failure. I picked wrong, and I'm unlucky. It's easy to follow the card when it's up ahead. Like the top card, but the other cards are not so easy. We're also kind of surrounded. It's a more difficult spot. Okay, well... <laughs> you stand no chance against me, man. I will not lose to you guys. At all. And I told you. And I win. But ambush me all you want. It will not matter anymore. I've got this. I've mastered the game, guys. We can freak game cards. Five max health. Five food. One of my cards. And another go small food. benefit. I will not be so graceful for long. I believe that, yes. Traveling Tinker. That sounds interesting. In a shady grove of the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Let's approach the shop. Greetings, West Traveller. I have much to offer you. I believe that, yes. Let's start by selling items. We have two axes, so we can sell one. That'll be good. We are not using the shield anymore. So we can sell that too. We have a warrior, warlord helm. A change of rage resists a... Uh, um, armor, I suppose. A shield and a mace, which are our attack things. We can sell everything else we are not using for combat. And there we go. We've gained a little bit of gold. Let's buy something if we can afford it. A mercenary contract. Once per combat, press 2 to activate an aura that makes every successful strike drop gold. I'm afraid we won't be able to afford anything here. That's a shame. We were just barely there though. Let's move on. The Jack of Skulls. This tenacious undead. undead is unusually difficult. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness 
an error. Distant Destinations and death is unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, the skeleton has the power to revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity, serving as captains to squads of lesser skeletons. These unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legions are effectively endless. There's a token in it for you if you win. Appreciate it. Let's be this guy. A four of skulls. We can easily win that. But it seems we will have to focus on the Jack of Skulls first. Let's take him on. Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? I am gonna have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, come on! Let me dodge every once in a while as well. I was not seeing the targeting thing. That's good. Take down the shooters first. That's perfect. Let's hit him. Will he explode? I'm not certain. Get down. And there we go. It seems we've defeated the Jack of Skulls. And that way, we finished another chapter. We've earned our token. Well done. well done indeed. But you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? The murder at sea, the OC has arrived. Visit the landlocked locked lover to begin the quest. I see. There is a lot of DLC for the game. Then. The hunt for the White Manitor has begun. The song of the White Manitor. A lot of DLC has been unlocked. The White Council is expanding its influence. I see. The Goblin King's horse DLC is ready. Why is there so much DLC for a game this old? The Underworld awaits your sacrifice in decent arrival. Dude, I just want my tokens for communing with an ancient god to receive warning signs. For helping the captain of the guards to receive a maze and another maze. What a waste! Come on, dude. For surviving the devil's choice to receive a devil's wager. For exploring the Dead King's Hall, you receive the treasure chest. As a reward for defeating my skeleton jack, you receive these cards. The Crucible, the Queen of Dust, the Helpful Priest, and the Desert Storm. And lastly, as a reward for defeat, we also obtain a Helm of Reflection, Consuming Shin, Angel's Wing, and a Frost Fang. And it all gets stacked. I'm afraid not, my good friend. You see, this is the end of the episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Leave a comment in the comments below, share your thoughts and feelings. Let me know what you think about the video, let me know what you think about the game, let me know what you think about Hand of Fate and the way you've played it. The round already was a lot tougher than last episodes, wasn't it? I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Another game. Another story. Did you know I like cookies? Goodbye.